Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to take your course in Moodle, back it up, and then send it over to Brightspace so that it will work in that system. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our Moodle course. And in this case, this is uh, my current History 105 course. We're going to go to the Administration block and click on Backup. Now, if you want to save the entire course, everything in it, all of the content, not the student information, of course, like their assignments and forum posts and things, just leave all of this blank and click on Jump to Final Step. Now, there's an important thing to remember here. If your course has rubrics, it will not convert if those rubrics are still in your course. Now, we cannot remove them here, but I'll show you where to remove them. So that is critically important. So please remember, if you have rubrics, stick around for the end of this video. But let's say there are some things you don't feel like bringing over, and what would that be? Well, if you have lessons, labels, choice polls, the book, tool, H any H5P, wiki, wikis, or the workshop tool, they do not convert as well. You can try, you can see what happens, they'll probably come out to some degree, but a lot of our faculty are deciding they just want to leave them out and then just copy and paste them in once their course is pretty much set up. But of course, that's up to you. So how do you do that? How do you leave stuff out? Well, we're going to click on Next, and then we have the ability here. All these things are checked blue die by default. Let's just say for some reason I don't want to bring the syllabus and my course information book over because the books don't work. And then I scroll all the way down and I click on Next. I'm going to do the same thing and then click on Perform Backup. Now you're going to see this screen and depending on the size of your course this could take some time so I'm going to hit the pause button until it's ready. Okay that took about a minute for this backup and I know it's done because well it says it's done but also I see a hundred percent so I'm going to click continue. Now we're still in my course here so I have to f find that file that I just created and it will generally be the top one. I can also tell by the time because that's what time it is right now and I'm going to click on download and just like before I'm going to hit the pause key and I'll be right back. I'm back and we just saved that course to my computer. Now where is it? Well, unless you've changed this, the default is, here's the file manager, I'm going to look in downloads and there it is. That is the course that I just brought over. Now that's important because I want to remember where that is because the next thing I'm going to do is go to the course that I want to restore that into. So right here, here's my empty sandbox. I'm going to go to course tools and I'm going to go to Course Admin. This is where almost everything begins in D2L. And I'm going to use the Import, Export, Copy Components. Now, all of this Mishigas looks crazy. It's a lot of stuff. Let's ignore it all and just go to the bottom one. And we're going to go Start. Now, remember I mentioned about rubrics. Well, this is where we're going to fix that. So I am now going to upload. I'm going to find where that is in the Downloads folder. I'm going to put it in here. You see it's going to start doing its thing. This is going to take a few minutes, so once again, I will pause it and come right back. So we're back. That took about three or four minutes. And if I want to import everything, all the components, all the content, I click on this. And even if you removed something like a lesson or a book, just click on Import All Components because those have already been removed. However, now I want to make sure because if I have rubrics here, I'm going to click on Advanced Options. And this takes a moment to to do what it has to do. It's going to it's going to show you some things that it's doing. So I'm once again going to hit the pause button, and we'll come right back. So we're back now. That took a few minutes, and I didn't show you the steps. You basically just watch it do its thing, and click continue twice. But this is where we find the important part. Now as you can see nothing is selected by default. So I'm going to just select everything to come over. But I want to find those pesky rubrics. All I have to do is uncheck that box. I'm going to click, I'm going to leave all this stuff the way it is. I'm going to cl click continue. And it's going to make me click it again. And now it's going to do its thing. Now this screen is going to take some time. Usually for this course it takes like five or six minutes. So once again, I'm going to hit the pause key and I'll come right back. So here we are. The import has worked successfully. You could say it even says that. It was imported successfully. Now I can view content and see the course as it is and here is my course. So right now all of the topics that I had are here. I can just click on one. You can see what everything looks like. Um, most everything comes over well. I This course is fairly simple. I use assignments. I use web pages, links, things like that. Um, forum uh, 
forums as well. Um, one of the videos coming up has to do with the gradebook because the gradebook in my experience can get screwed up in the import process so I'm going to have a separate video on that but what you can do is you can start looking make sure everything looks well you see I have a broken topic here that means I'm going to probably have to open up my Moodle course put it right next to it and then just transfer things over I can copy and paste and unfortunately that is the reality of what we're going to have to do every course your instructor the instructor is going to have to really go through line by line just to make sure that everything is okay but this will bring over most of your content to hopefully make it a lot easier. And please check out the video on the gradebook because that's an important step after you feel good about how your course looks. Thank you.